Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I am doing a get to know me tag. And yes, I did post a video of this, something similar. I believe it was called like the 50 or 100 random facts about me tag. But that was when I had like, you know, a very small number of subscribers. But since our subscriber count has increased, I believe it's just a good time to do another updated get to know me tag because I'm sure not everyone who is subscribed to me and newcomers, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, click that red button down below, click the notification bell if you haven't already, and please click the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. So I'm doing an updated get to know me tag. I have a bunch of questions right in front of me. So if you see my eyes looking down, it's because I'm reading the questions. And let's just get started. Okay. So question number one is, what is your name? Well, my name is Sarah. Nice to meet you. Let's shake hands. Number two, how old are you? Well, I am sad. Sadly, 31 years old. Yes, I am 31 years old. <sighs> when you're in your 30s, uh, the back pain, you know, the headaches, the night after drinking and waking up, those hangovers, oh, they hit you much harder. They will hit you much, much harder. Trust me. All right, next question is, what is your nationality? I am Korean. And... Some people feel like I don't look full Korean, but my mom tells me I'm Korean, so I'm going to take a word for it and say that I'm 100% Korean. Number two, oh wait, that was number three. So number four, what, what is your middle name? Believe it or not, I do not have a middle name. All right, number five, your favorite color. Well, if glitter could be a color, then that would be my favorite color. However, glitter is not a color, but it should be. So my next favorite color would be the color pink. I love the color pink, just like my Eagles pink cup right here. Hmm? Beautiful. My wonderful, wonderful best friend got it for me. If she watches my videos, which I hope she does, then thank you so much. You know who you are. And she's not even a football fan, and she got this for me. That's how much she loves me. Oh. All right, next question is, how tall are you? I am pretty tall for a Korean person. Um, I am five foot seven. That is 170 centimeters. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Well, I love animals in general. You know, I love animals. But if I had to choose one, of course, you guys should know, because if you watch my videos and watch my vlogs, I am 100% a dog person. Yes, dog person indeed. And besides, with cats, I can't be around certain types of cats. I'm not sure what type it is, but just certain types because um, I'm allergic and I get this really bad reaction. Ooh, side story, sorry. Going off track a little bit, I apologize, but quick story. I found out I was allergic because one of my good friends, we were at his house, we were hanging out and everything, and he just got a new cat, you know? And the cat's roaming around, super friendly cat, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm like petting it and loving it, and the next thing you know, my eyes just watering. I didn't think much of it, okay? And then I'm like rubbing my eye like vigorously. I'm like, oh my god, what the heck? So I run to the bathroom and I rub my eyes so much, like the clear film on my eye, it started bubbling. It was so disgusting. And it's like 2 or 1 a.m. Um, at night or in the morning. And... I rushed to my phone, I called my best friend, because at that time she was in optometry school in Philly, and which I was, I was not living in Philly, but she was in Philly, and I called her up and I'm like, oh my god, Nicole, Nicole, my eyes, and she's like, why are you calling me this late at night? And I'm like, I don't know what's happening, I tell her there's a cat and like this and that, and she's like, Sarah, calm down, stop touching your eyes, stop rubbing it, all you gotta do is just buy some antihistamine eye drop, put a couple of that drops, and you'll be fine, okay? Now, I want to go back to sleep, okay? And I'm sure I pissed her off, but I was freaking out, as usual. And, yeah, so what I do, 
um, go to a 24 hour CVS, buy every single brand of antihistamine eye drop, all right? And, oh, and I did take a bunch of pictures to send to my friend because I wanted her to diagnose it. But, you know, she said, um, she told me I was overreacting, which I probably was. Anyways, bought the whole entire antihistamine eye drop and, you know, like literally, I'm, I don't even know if it was good for me or not, but I'm healed, right? So I like dropped it in my eye and it, I'm fine. And from that thing on, I found that I was allergic to cats. So that's my quick story. Anyway, so I'm a dog person. Next question. Do, 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 do. Where have you been? So I guess that's asking me like other places I've been in the U.S. or outside the U.S. So in the U.S. I've been to like California, I've been to New York, New Jersey, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, I've been to Florida, uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, um, God, where else? I, hmm, thinking couple more places not clicking in my head right now and then outside the US I've been to Jamaica which is a beautiful place I've been there for my friend's wedding and you guys Jamaica their water it's so blue I'm like is this real life is this real life I've never seen water so blue I mean I thought it was like it's like a I was dreaming honestly but it is so beautiful there if you have never been to Jamaica, then I highly recommend it. All right, next question. Are you in school? So no, I am not in school right now. I have graduated with a bachelor's of science and yeah, but I do plan on going back to school because you can never get enough education. All right, mm, favorite perfume. Okay, so I don't have a particular or specific perfume I like. However, to me, perfumes come in basically two categories, the more floral scent, and then there's the more like fruitier scent. And I gravitate towards the more fruitier scent because I just like the fruitier smells. And a part of me feels kind of juvenile saying that because I am a 31 year old woman who likes fruitier scent, but that's what I like. I like fruitier scent perfume because that's what I gravitate towards. All right, are you a caffeine drinker? And if so, coffee or tea? Well, coffee and tea can also be decaffeinated. But yes, I do drink caffeine. I need caffeine. It is my, you know, it's my start button of the day. Besides waking up at 5 a.m. to hit the gym, caffeine, I need that boost. The gym, yes, I need that too. But the caffeine, oh, I need a caffeine booth. 100% I need it. So, caffeine, coffee or tea, um, I do like both, but if I'm thinking to myself, which one do I drink more? Coffee. I drink more coffee. I do drink tea too. I have like a bunch of tea at home. I drink tea from Starbucks. I drink tea from Dunkin' Donuts, wherever, you know, but mostly I'm drinking coffee. Okay, so do you play any instruments or any sports? Um, well, I do play instruments. I play the piano, I play the flute, I play the guitar, and I play, if it counts, the recorder. Do I play any sports? Currently, no, I don't. But when I was younger, I did. Like, I played soccer and ice skating and basketball because, you know, sports your parents put you through. Ooh, I did Taekwondo as well. And I kind of regret not keeping up with at least one of the sports my parents put me through, but, you know, it is what it is. And it's kind of difficult if you haven't started at such a young age. So, yeah. Maybe I'll go back and pick a sport and start doing that. But for now, the gym will be my sport. Okay. Favorite holiday. Alright, so favorite holiday... I'm sure you guys know because I have mentioned it in one of my videos. If I haven't, then now I am. And favorite holiday, besides my birthday, you know, of course, everyone's favorite holiday is their birthday. But besides that, 
My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's not Christmas. I mean, I love Christmas. I love presents. I love gifts. Don't get me wrong. I love New Year's. I love Valentine's Day. All the love and flowers. And if I'm being honest, I do like flowers, but I could care less about flowers. But anyways, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Why? Because one, food. Yes, I love to eat. I love food and family and friends, you know, all your family, all your friends gather together, you know, you're just having a good time, you know, eating good food and chit-chatting, catching up because Thanksgiving is the day where your relatives and like your close friends get together and you just bond pretty much and that's such an important time, at least I feel like. So family and friends, food and let's not forget football. Yes, football. Okay, Thanksgiving. Next question, what is your favorite book? Now, I do have a bunch of favorite books, but the first one that came to mind, and I grabbed it to prepare myself, of course, is this book right here. It's called Outliers, The Story of Success by Malcolm Gladwell. And it is the number one best-selling author of The Tipping Point and Blink. All right, so this is the book. If you need a book to read or you just you're finishing up a book and you have to pick up a second book because you're finishing one up or whatever your reason might be you know I definitely recommend this book I I have nothing but good things to say about it so let me just give you a quick you know preview so it says why do some people succeed far more than others there is a story that is usually told about extremely successful people. A story that focuses on intelligence and ambition. In Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell argues that the true story of success is very dif different. And that if we want to understand how some people thrive, we should spend more time looking around them. At such things as their family, their birthplace, or even their birth date. The story of success is more complex and a lot more interesting than it initially appears. So I'll just end it there. And honestly, this book is such a good read. I just can't stress that enough. So highly recommend this Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. I will try to look for it on Amazon and link it down below. And you know, you can click on that link and purchase it there or Google, Google it up yourself and purchase it yourself or go to like a local bookstore such as Barnes and Noble and buy it there. You do whatever you want to do. So that is my book that I love and I do recommend. Next question, let's see. Ooh, favorite food, because we were just talking about food. So favorite food is, so favorite food I would say would be Mexican food, Italian food, and Korean food. Mexican, Italian, Korean. Mm. Favorite fast food restaurant. Well, if I'm being honest, yes, I do eat fast food because I just do, which I shouldn't because it is unhealthy. But favorite fast food restaurant is Taco Bell. I love me some Taco Bell. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, are you single or are you taken? I am very happily taken. PC or Mac? Well, PC. And yes, I know, I feel like a whole bunch of people are Mac people, but then again... I do feel like a whole bunch of people are also PC people. So for me, I am a PC girl. I have used Mac before and I have used iPhones before, but, and they are great, don't get me wrong. You know, I love my iPhone, I love my Mac computer, but I just like the PC more and I like my Android. I don't know, I just like it better. So, do, 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 do. next question. What is one of your biggest pet peeve? Ooh. People who flake. People who flake. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. I do have a more than one. I'm sure everyone has pet peeves, but people who flake. Yeah. I do not like flakers. Whew. Standing in front of these lights. Um, yeah, super hot. Alright, so we are wrapping it up and coming to an end. The last question here is. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? And I do have a whole bunch of YouTubers that I like and I love and I watch them all the time and yeah. But I wrote down just a handful of people that I 
enjoy watching their content. I watch their all their videos actually, and they are just yeah, I like their videos. So, and if I don't mention your name or your video name, please don't get offended. I'm just these are just people that I really, really enjoy watching their content and maybe you'll like them too. I will put a link down below to their YouTube channel in my description box. So yeah, this is not a shout out. It's just people that I enjoy watching, you know? So I mean, for all I know, they might not even know I exist or they might not even be subscribed to me, you know? And that doesn't bother me because I enjoy watching their content, okay? You get me? Alright, so the first person I wrote down is Amber Scholl, okay? And if you don't know who she is, she is super cute and she's just so bubbly and I don't know. Honestly, her content is just her doing like super like um, affordable, bougie, crystally DIYs, a bunch of vlogs of her just shopping and just random stuff. But her personality is what I'm drawn towards. She's just so fun and bubbly and I love it and yeah Amber Scholl next person I wrote down is Elise Marie and I think that's how you pronounce it Elise Marie and she does makeup so I think she does wonderful makeup and I like her personality she has such a very very elegant and soft spoken voice and um I like it you know I like her videos I like her content I love her editing skills so Elise Marie the next person I wrote down, and it is kind of a handful of stuff I wrote down, so, you know. Next person is Kristen Dominique, and I freaking love Kristen Dominique, okay? Just, she is just gorgeous, and she is beautiful, and you should definitely go to her page and subscribe to her because she deserves many, 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 many more subscribers. I think her video content is super good when she does makeup she, she describes what she's doing so well and she tells you like what you should be doing and I don't know I just I learned so much from her personally I think she's a great makeup artist next person is Brittany but I think she goes by Brit I could be wrong like Brit Clark I believe again down below link click on it you'll find out she does makeup as well and I love her Next person I love to watch is Hope Scope, and I think her name is Hope, or it's Whitney. I'm not too sure, but, and her dog is super adorable. Her dog, Leah, oh, so cute. I love dogs. Her dog is just so cute, and it looks like a cartoon dog. I don't know. It's just so adorable. I don't even know what kind of dog it is, but it's so adorable. Hope Scope. Type it up, search it, link below, you know. My next favorite person is Amanda, and she also does vlogs and beauty and just like everyday lifestyle stuff, so check her out. She is wonderful. I love her. I love watching her videos. I also like Jen M. Guys, I have a huge list. It's not just a handful. I lied. I apologize, okay? I like... I love watching Lily Singh, aka Superwoman, Candy Johnson, Faith Drew, Lails, Shareware, Nessa Lee, Megan Cole. You guys, Megan Cole, she is a badass, alright? She not only does makeup, alright, and all that good stuff, she does freaking MMA, guys. MMA. I mean, that is a true badass. She has, like, beauty, and she can kick your freaking butt, alright? So, um... Hello? That's like a win-win. I think it is. Megan Cole. Check her out. And who else did I write down? Ooh, I have... Ooh, vloggers. And Logan Paul. So Logan Paul is a vlogger. Super popular. I'm sure all of you guys watching this know who he is. If you don't know, then link down below. But he is honestly... I think it's very funny. I don't know. I just find this content hilarious. Some people might find it obnoxious, but I don't know. I just find it hilarious, you know? That, like, short 10, 15-minute content he puts out. Um, every single video puts out, I'm honestly laughing. So, yeah. Logan Paul. And who else? Kelly Strack. I think that's how you pronounce it. Strack. If I mispronounce it, I do apologize. She does makeup as well. I love her. Alright, so I'm going to pick one more person. Oh, gosh. Ellie Max SFX. They do, like, Halloween, like, 
type of makeup. So if you're into that kind of stuff, and they do a wonderful job of explaining what to do, and it's like they make it they make it feel like you can do the makeup yourself too, and it looks professional and looks super cool. Elimax, Elimax, SFX. Again, links will be down below, so check them out. And you can say I sent you there if you want to. That would be that would be nice. But you don't have to. Again, these are people that I enjoy watching. And it's not a shout out. It's just people that I genuinely enjoy watching their content. So, you know. Because the question was, who are your favorite YouTubers? So there you go. I just filled out a whole bunch. And I do have a lot more, but time's a ticking. And no, I have not worn a watch. But there's a clock up there. So that's how I know. All right. Let's wrap things up. That is pretty much it, guys. That is the updated get to know me tag. I am sweating right now. Ugh. All right. That is the updated get to know me tag. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this and you want to see more videos like this of me just answering questions, or maybe you have more questions for me, comment down below another question you want to know and you want me to answer, and I'll look over them and maybe I'll answer them. All right. So comment down below I'll take a look and perhaps I may answer them so that is the end of the video guys all right hope you enjoyed this video hope you can come back and see me next time because more videos are coming up and if you haven't already click the like button down below subscribe click the notification bell follow me on my social media and that is pretty much it everyone okay I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful day a wonderful night or wherever you are and I will see you next time. All right. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. All right. Here is the bonus round. The bonus clip. I was going to do a separate video for this, but, you know, I feel like it's such a short clip, you know, I'll just combine, like, two of it together. So, the first half was Get to Know Me, and the second half is this bonus clip. If you stay till the end, you're still here. Thanks for sticking around. So, we are doing another hot food challenge, alright? And the hot food challenge is not the Korean spicy, you know, ramen. It is this right here and if I'm mispronouncing it I definitely apologize but I believe it's called Packy Haunted Ghost Peppers and it says in small print it says freaking hot all right so that is what we're trying Packy is that how you pronounce it Packy Haunted Ghost Peppers and right there you guys see that freaking hot you know I haven't even opened it yet so okay so and if you watch my vlogs you would know that I have recently purchased this so yes now this is haunted ghost pepper light crispy and freaking hot witness the haunted ghost pepper the scariest of them all these chips will terrify your taste buds ours are still hiding under the bed and it does have a warning which says the contents of this bag are extremely frightening. Packy is not responsible for any injuries that may result from ingesting this delicious terror. The use of gloves and safety goggles is encouraged. Oh gosh, okay, that sounds pretty scary. Common side effects include addiction for burning pain, blurred vision, and unquenchable thirst. Enjoy with caution and consider yourself warned. That sounds kind of scary, you guys. I I kind of want to back off, but I don't know. And then it says, it has like a little song. Let me read it to you. Packy rhymes with hockey. Pocky. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Pocky. Pocky is an Aztec word meaning to be happy. Ooh, I like that. Pocky. What makes us happy is creating light, crisp chips with mouth-watering flavors using only the best ingredients we can find. Nothing fake, nothing artificial. Our Pocky warriors make sure of it. So be Pocky with us because delicious chips are worth smiling about. Well, 
let's try this and let's see if I'm still smiling cuz this sounds like it's gonna be super um, freaking hot here we go oh and I have water as you saw earlier okay and this is not like the ramen test or ramen challenge where I'm just like eating this and not having a sip of water no I'm gonna have a sip of water if it's hot all right so I feel like I should open it away from me oh okay it's open take a look inside doesn't look too bad you guys see that all right I don't want to stick my hand in there because I don't want like the spicy flavoring to get coat around my hand so I'm gonna kind of wiggle it out we have nice full size one big piece right here that is what it looks like okay all right, all right. Okay, so a little prayer so I don't die. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. You feel the burn. Mm. It's not bad. Definitely spicy. The spice is kicking up as the time is going. Like the first initial bite, you feel a little bit of a burn, but not that, not too strong. But it's burning more right now. But it's not bad. Mm. Whew. That is hot. Mm. Yeah, I need water. All right, guys. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Oh, I'm ill. Okay. Whew. Yeah, that is spicy. It's not the same type of spicy that, you know, there's different types of spices out there. Spices. There's different types of spices out there, but this is like, it's not the same as the Korean spicy noodle challenge type of spicy. That, it is spicy, but I can handle this. It's spicy, I can handle it. It's not bad, but yeah. The spicy heat level, it rises, and it's still rising. Mm. Whew, I need more water. Mm. Ugh. I need more water. Hmm. I kind of want more though. Am I crazy? I kind of want more. Let's do one more, guys. Let's do this one. This nice, a curved shape. All right. You know what we messed up? I just thought of this. <clears throat> They do look like Doritos. So if you got regular nacho Doritos and then stuck like one or two of these into the pile of Doritos, like the nacho ones, and then someone's going to pick this up and eat it not knowing. Kind of like that Skittles and M&M's mixture that trick people do, but instead it's like this and nacho Doritos. Ooh, that would be funny. I'm going to try that one day. My nostrils are burning. Oh my god. Mmm. Whew. Whew. Alright guys. That was pretty much the bonus clip of me trying out this Pocky Haunted Ghost Peppers. Oh, it is good. But super spicy. I'm not gonna lie. Whew. Two is just enough for me. Two is plenty. Oh my god. Mm. Ugh. not enough water okay so let's wrap this video up we are done and I hope you enjoyed this part 2 or bonus clip 
hope to see you next time, guys. All right, bye.